Yerp. We live with the gang. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Shout of the Earth Tree. We're about to go in and fight the final boss. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. There's not going to be an original cutscene. Because I did make a video of me fighting this guy at first. He beat my... Yo, he beat the crap out of me for 46 minutes before I had to go to the gym. I was like, yo, I had 30 minutes before I needed to be at the gym. Where can it be? I was like, I think I can beat him in 30 minutes. No, he beat me up for 46 minutes straight. I raged out and quit the game. And I deleted the video. I was like, nah, I'm deleting the video. This, this ain't happening. And left. This time, we're not going to do that. This video... If I can't beat him in this time and I and I got to rage out, the video just going to stay. It is what it is. Like, uh, I'm just going to suck that one up. Like, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, I, I'm going to take my ill like a man and, and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, we're about to get to it. We're going to jump in there. I changed up my build a little bit. I'm going to change my build up. I, I got this... Uh, Cause I'm telling like this, I see why people are doing cheat stuff against him. Like he is so ridiculous that I see why and these two niggas in the background really wasn't helping at all. Thorner, Thoyer was just getting his butt whipped. He was poisoned up. He was getting his butt whipped. Old boy over here, uh, Ansbeck was just, he keeps following me around. So when I'm running away, he's running away with me and the boss is coming all around me. So I'm just like, yeah, it's just chill. Anyways, I went and got a great katana. And I put the freaking uh, spinning gravity thrust on it, and I have this blood on, and I have all I have these things on. So we are gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna summon Mimic. Mimic also was pissing me off. I don't know if I want Mimic to do magic or if I want him to. I'm, first, I'm gonna try him with this great katana, and if Mimic, if not, then maybe me and him gonna switch. I might have get, let him have the great katana, and I might have the magic. I did get him down to like uh, a quarter of health before once, though, only once. But let's go ahead and get in here. See how this goes. Dang it, I'm dead. It's over. It's over already. Hit me once, it's over. Oh, actually, they, they, they came in and fight in front of the beginning. Usually, they don't ever come in and fight right from the beginning. They usually come in on some whole stuff. But those remains do not belong to you. This nigga put out his staff immediately. Why did you put out your staff, bro? Why did you put out your staff, Mimic? Why? I'm gonna push the button again. All right, we'll we'll let this cutscene play since we skipped the first since we y'all yeah, didn't see the first step scene step, uh, step cutscene. Wow, I cannot cannot see say I mean talk what's going on. So, like I said, when, when I first seen the first cutscene of uh, Radon, I was like, why is his arms looking like that? Is that fingers on his arms? But now that it makes more sense, like I was saying in the last video, that is Moog's corpse. It just looks so much like Radon. Those are horns coming out of his arm. His arm because you got to remember, Moog is an omen. So he looks all messed up with the little horns coming out of everywhere. And Radon's soul is in there. But it's Moog's corpse. Then yield the power forward to us. But I don't. He he looks a lot cleaner than Moog. I don't know if the soul started to transition and try to decide to change him a little bit because he looks a lot cleaner than Moog look. But it has some 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 pieces of him. This part about to be freaking ridiculous. I only, got, I only got four heals. Bro, I'm not even near you. He hit. 
that was the other biggest thing about fighting him. Like, I'm not even near him, and he'll hit he, he, his, his attacks will hit me. And that right there is always crazy. Bro, what the? F Did he really just grab me out of the air? Why does it seem like this attack is going so slow? I'm dead. I think I think I think we can beat him with this thing though. I'm about to take the thing off because I'm dead. Like I, I messed up with the uh, the thing and I wasn't doing it twice. But it, it, it seems like it's spinning so so slow. Let me take off this. And I kind of want to take off my uh, my other thing because Mimic came out immediately and started freaking casting spells. He, he didn't even just immediately and like. All right, let's go back in this again. I feel a little better. I know you can do it, so come on and do it. Okay. That might not be a smart move to do against this. And if, if I used buff and incantations, that, that probably would have went, went a lot better. But I don't use buffs and incantations because the buffs and stuff would have made me way, way stronger. I'm gonna go back to my original because I did way better against him when I when I was doing this than I did the other way. So. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I hit R2 instead of hitting freaking uh As why are you over here? I didn't even know that he did that. He, he which one called it? Just spamming. Uh, which one called? Uh, what's the name? Mimic, Mimic was just spamming that spell. That's crazy! Stop! Stop attacking! And these fools so far back that they 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 are they, not doing anything to distract them. Come on, bro! He is crazy. Honestly, I, f I feel like some of them is just the worst on, 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 on in a way. Like they, they, they just make it worse. But there's nobody around here for me to summon. Whenever I pop one of these janks, nobody's around here. 
Which to me is crazy, but I, I guess it's probably just nobody's around my level. Because what am I now? Level what? 512. And I know that some people are playing around 512, at least around that time, that, that level. But whenever I need to summon somebody, there's nobody here. That's why that, the, the whole little 150 stuff, everybody's like, oh, I'll just stay at 150 and whatnot. And then they just go from there. That's just kind of annoying, like, bro. The thing is, we're getting him down. If anything, Ansbach is the is the the weakest member of the team. Because in the beginning, Ansbach want to talk instead of throwing hands. Thorier is getting right to it immediately, but he just want his his health bar is just so small that he wants to get his whole ass beat. See, and I, and I gotta run away because this nigga kept constantly attacking. So they don't, they don't they don't get a chance to, to distract them to hit them. So I basically gotta just make them get hit. And they get me hit. And now and my, and my emotions triggered late. I pushed that button way before he hit me, and it, it all triggers afterwards. I got no, I, I gotta take some of my whipple cards away. I'm gonna have to uh, reallocate some of these things. Really? Really? What is going on? What is going on? Nobody, like nobody was hitting him at that point in time. That attack is so crazy too. I, I, I'm gonna lose my mind against this daggone thing, bro. Like, but I, I gotta beat him. There. How you miss him? I'm, I'm, I'm panic rolling. I'm panic rolling. But those remains do not belong to you. Lord will have. Out of all the characters, though, that we could have had to summon at the end, why Thorlier? Why? He's doing his part. Don't get me wrong. He's doing his part, but why him? Out of all the characters we could have had to summon at the end, why him? Why not horn scent? Because I don't think you even have the option of summoning horn scent at the end. Why not horn scent? Horn scent hates fucking Mikula and wanted to kill Mikula. He hates freaking uh, Mesmer because Mesmer killed his people and stuff. Like why, why, why Thorlier of all the people? He recovers so fast from that. The pleasure to see you. 
the cheapest shit ever, bro. The cheapest shit ever. Lord Moog will have his dignity. If he hits him clean with it. There you go. Yeah, as, as long as you hit him clean with that shit, he, he's... Stop! I, could, I couldn't do it in time. I couldn't take my dag on flash in time. Oh, I did take my flash in time. No, I didn't. I didn't take my flash of time. It, it, the flash just popped afterwards. That... What? What is that? What is that attack, bro? I'm just gonna immediately start running in the opposite way when we get into phase two. General Adan, a pleasure to see you. But those remains do not belong to you. Lord Moe will have his dignity. Really? This nigga hit everybody with that. I said, how is he not in his second stage yet? I'm running. I'm running the opposite way. Why did, why did Mimic just try to hit him like it was a weapon? What the fuck? Oh my gosh, he grabbed him. I really gotta remember that he freaking that he does that. He has that other tactic. Mim Mimic about to die too. Mimic over there freaking getting monstered.
to the thing is too with this spell like i'm not even using enough mp to have to use my other my other flash or whatever case may be no i'm gonna do that too That was actually a pretty good run. That run wasn't bad at all. What the fuck, bro? I couldn't cast my spell. General Radon. I couldn't cast my spell. That's crazy. That's never happened to me before. What are you doing, bro? Those remains do not belong to you. Lord Mode will have his That really messed up the damage. I couldn't cast my spell. Good job, man. What the f I don't even know how I am died that one. His attacks are so those attacks are so crazy. He killed Mimic. <laughs> Alright, I need to recraft. How many pots do I have? I have 16 cracked pots. Oh, these are the ritual pots, and these are the regular cracked pots. If I could freeze him, that would be great. Can we? I wonder if I can. I even put him to sleep. I'm gonna try. I've never tried this before, so I'm gonna try. I mean, I've never really even used my 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 pots before. In general, so but I've never put anybody to sleep. I've never put a single character to sleep. Oh, I already have some some pots. That's why these was here. And these, I'm using everything. I'm putting everything on.
damn it, I rolled too late. It's tough, let me tell you. It's a, it's a good game, though. I definitely still recommend it there, uh, but it is tough. And especially this DLC, this DLC is absolutely maddening. Bro, you're doing stuff you never did before. Yeah, this, this DLC is maddening, bro. Maddening. But it's still a good game. It's still a good game. I still recommend it to anybody, but just don't, don't come in straight to the DLC. Yeah, we ganging up on him, but it don't that, that ganging up on him means nothing. This this dude is crazy. So he, they, they do have a, a player base count. Why is my headphones so loud? Okay, they do have a player base count uh, difficulty, but the those NPCs, I, I don't believe that they don't count into his uh, his difficulty. And uh, when the NPCs are a part of a quest line, so I don't want to miss their quest line. So that's why I'm also summoning them in. But yeah, majority of the bosses in the game do have a, a uh, they, they also scale with it. Nah, they're not players. It, but if you summon players, he, it definitely scales. 100% it scales when you summon players. But I, it, I don't believe it scales when you summon uh, Mimic and your, your, my little summon and you summon these dudes. I don't think it scales at all. I could be wrong in that, but I don't, I don't believe it does. I need to try to put him to sleep, but... Okay, how did that even reach me? If y'all don't hit him so y'all take his attention, most of the time they, they, they just take hits. I think I'm gonna knock some of Mimic the next time. Mimic's doing good, but I'm gonna try to put him to sleep. I, I, this, this run, I'm, I'm probably down this run. Oh my gosh. He wasn't even aiming at me and still hit me. I'm gonna try to put him to sleep. See if that works. I'm assuming you probably can't put him to sleep. He is fucking me up, bro. Let me just do one at him too. Okay, I, I didn't do like four or five sleep pots at him. Yeah, this, I, this run was already gonna be a uh, a bad run because I just wanted to stack up this sleep, uh, but I can't. Put All right, that's fine. That run was fine. We've actually got him down pretty, pretty low, like to a quarter of health. Let's take off these for sure, and these for sure. We know for a fact that we can, uh... Yeah, oh yeah, you can definitely need a controller. You can, you can go ahead and try to do this with mouse and keyboard if you want to.
we know for a fact that we can rot him though. Which honestly, honestly, if he couldn't rot, that that, that would be against the storyline because he's in Radon's body that was full of rot. But yeah, this is the final boss, and this dude has been uh, really, really pushing me, man. Like. He's, he's been on my case. Like, I, I legit made a video. Before this video, I made a video uh, before I went to the gym. Yeah, he's the final DLC boss. He went, made, a, made a video before I went to the gym. It was so bad, I deleted the video. He, 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 he scratched me out for 46 minutes. Panic rolling. A pleasure to see you. Really, bro? But those are not belong to me. Lord Moe will have Come on, bro. I need you to distract them right quick. So I can get so I can get a hit in on them. But I need a hit in so I can summon so I can get my summon out. I'm gonna do these summons instead of mimic this time. Bro. See how much see how well they feel. I'm not gonna make it. No, I did make it. Alright, let's go, y'all. I don't know how to dodge that. Come on, brother. You are ridiculous. You know that? I don't know if your mama told you, but you ugly. I don't even understand how, how I'm supposed to dodge that side. I was in the middle of an attack. I can't I can't do nothing when I'm in the middle of an attack. And he got so many like wide range AOE attacks. And it's almost impossible. I'm done. I'm cooked. I'm so cooked. Oh my gosh, bro. Chill. It ain't that deep. Right when, I, right when I was about to slam down on him. I think I might just try to stay in deep in him. I mean, I'm in close in him. Yeah, this boss ain't 30. It's been 33 minutes. 33 minutes of me just getting beat up by him. 33 minutes. No pause. 33 minutes. I'll be right back. I got to use the bathroom.
All right, let's get back to another 33 minutes of me getting beat up, probably. So you can summon people to help you. You use one of these, but there's never anybody around. Like you can see this dude, he's obviously here and he's around, but he's probably not around my level for me to be able to, for me to be able to summon. Because nobody is putting their sign, they sign them. Their signs will look just like this. They'll look gold like this. And if you use it, use their summon sign, you can basically summon them into your world and they can help you out. I gotta try to, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to memorize his attacks and uh, stay a little bit closer to him. Did I notify it? Yeah, I notified it. All right, cause, oh, you know what? Yeah, somebody's super strong, they can help. I, I, I know why I, I know why nobody's around. I forgot I had a password on. Let me take this password off and see if this this helps. But even if they're super strong, it, yep, see, I had a password on. That's why, I, that's why I couldn't summon nobody. Unable to summon. I don't know why it always does that. I'm always unable to summon for some reason. I forgot I had a password on. I was making it so I couldn't summon people. Oh my goodness. Oh, those signs went away. Why is it? I, I don't understand why, why my thing always does it. It always fails for some reason. this I'll try to redo it i don't i don't know if if it's failing because there are other people clicking the summon before i get to the summon or if it's just failing because it's failing unable to summon i, I don't i don't understand it at all I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it, it, that that keeps happening to me. They pop up, but I but it, I just can't summon them. Let me, see. Let, me, let me try to look it up. I don't want to see one from two years ago. Somebody summon a dude that fast. That's what I said. Like somebody, some of these dudes, like the sign just pops up. There's no way somebody summoned them that fast. Cause I know one of the biggest reasons is that like somebody summoned them already, so that's why they're not there. That's why they're gone already. But you telling me people just sitting on top of all of these and just like, all right, here we go. Cause I know I can kill this dude. If I just get somebody skilled enough that's not an NPC to, to help me out, I can kill this dude. Nah, it doesn't. When I summon people, it doesn't cost me anything. It's, 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 it, it just, uh, the boss uh, gets more difficult. Like, the health bar is just a little bit bigger. <clears throat> I just need one summon, for real. I just need one person I can summon. Because I can summon these two fools still into the battle even with that summon so it'll make it a little better for us i just won't be able to summon uh my my mimic things inside the battle but i can still summon a person i can take i can summon two people or i can summon the people and two of them because they're just npcs the npcs don't count as the summons this bring it back yeah I, I really don't know why it, 
it does that. Like my my only thing is like, okay, somebody summoned them. That's why. That's the only thing I can think of of why I'm unable to summon them. Other than that, I should be able to summon them. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here forever trying to do this though. But and if I put my sign down, they can summon me. Because people have summoned me into their world easily, but when it comes to me summoning them, I don't know what it is. But it's, it's the same thing when I try to summon friends, too. Like, my actual friends, when I try to summon them in my game, I don't know what it is. I think it's something going on with my network, with my system, whatever the case may be, that's making it so I can't summon people. There might be something going on with the net. I might, I might have to change my net version on this jank and uh so like this dude just got here so he should be coming in this, I, knew, I, I, feel, I had a feeling he was going to be on it. So. Finally, we got somebody. Let me see if I can summon one other person. That's crazy. All right, we're just going to summon... Since we got... We got a... Uh, since we got you in here, we'll we'll just summon the uh, thorn there and them, and just go go with that, because everybody else seems like they're gonna be unable to summon. It just keeps happening that way, so they can take some of the damage from us. Oh, I can't summon Osbach now because there's already two of us. Okay. Crazy. Yeah, his 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 uh his thing is a, a slab of rock, but it's a it's actually a pretty good slab. You can block most attacks. Damn it! I had to do it. Why am I not dodging anything? What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh no. Yes! 
Yes! Oh, boy. This shit would have took me all day, brother. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. That shit would have took me all day for sure. Ah, nigga, if I had a heart rate monitor on this, on this game right now. That's 45 minutes. And it could have been a lot shorter if I would have known, if I would have remembered I had a password on. And that's why I couldn't summon nobody. But everybody gets summoned so quick in these boss fights that even when you try to summon somebody, you can't. Like, you just can't. But yeah, that, that shield that she have, she has it's called the fingerprint shield. And it has a 100% immunity to stuff. So basically, like, as long as she's in, I think there was a, there was a she or was a, a real young kid. I don't, I don't want to misgender whoever that was, but it, it's the, the voice sounded feminine. But it could have been somebody that hasn't hit puberty yet. Anyways, as long as the person, the, whatever is fighting, is in front of the person with the shield, when they put up, put up the fingerprint shield, it blocks everything. Like, 100% blocks. It takes your stamina down, but it doesn't take any of your health down. That's why it, the health, health wasn't going at all. Yeah, they, they said something at the end. But they, you probably couldn't hear them because uh, they're not in a party with me and it didn't pop up. But you, uh, they did say something at the end. They only said something at the end. They, they said they told me that when I said thank you, thanks for that. They said you're welcome. That was about it. Other than that, they didn't say anything else during the fight. All right, let's see. Let's see if there's anything else over here first before we touch this. That was Radon. And see that that it wasn't like the person that helped me was doing a lot of damage. What they were doing was tanking the whole time. They was basically taking all the hits. So you see, I know you've seen at one point when I was about to die, and the, he came running over there. He came running right in front of me and just started blocking right in front of me because they were trying to take all the hits. Since they have a hundred percent freaking block rate, they were just taking all the hits from away from me. And that's that's really all I need somebody to do. I can deal a lot of damage. You seen whenever I did my attack, whenever I did this. This attack takes away, like, took away, like, 3,000 something damage, 3,000, 5,000 something damage away from the boss every time I hit him with it. I just needed to be able to hit him with it. Because it, you see it splits. It splits into three when it goes out. But if you're close enough to the target, all three of them hit one, hit one target. It takes a lot of damage away. But let's go ahead and touch this memory. And we'll see what this is about. This, this is a young Mikula. He looks like a girl. I feel like Radon didn't honor him. Don didn't honor his part to be his consort, and that's why they had to steal a body and do some whole other crazy nonsense. A circuit of light. Let me look into these items. So we got this circuit of light. It slightly boosts intelligence, faith, and arcane while also boosting the power of Mikula's light. The circuit of light adored Mikula's head as it, as he returned in divine aspect. It has begun to fade into nothingness. The circuit was to be the very foundation upon which Mikula's age of compassion would be built, should it have ever come to pass. Because Mikula wound up dying, so his 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 age of ruling never came to pass. And this is the remembrance of Radon, consort of Mikula, hewn into the shadow tree, shadow tree. The power of the name state can be unlocked by the finger reader alternatively. It can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. Well, 
Uh, that was a period, obviously. Period. Alternatively, it can be used to gain, to gain a great bounty of runes. In their childhood, Mikula saw in Radon a lord. His strength and his kindness that stood in stark contrast with their affiliated selves. And so Mikula made his heartfelt wish that Radon would one day be his king consort. So now that I beat the DLC, that's pretty much it. And what, what would usually happen after all of this and whatnot is like if whatever I didn't go do, I would go do now. Like, so now that you beat the DLC, now you go like just do post game stuff. Like if you didn't kill a certain boss, you go find that boss. If you didn't get a certain weapon, you go find that weapon. But this is the DLC map, which is obviously pretty big. And it took me, this is video number 20. It took me 20 videos, streaming videos, to play. It actually took me a lot longer than that because I did a lot of stuff off video. And when I was off video, I probably spent about like two hours a piece off video. And that was just like to explore like little things. And like to like come over here and like to find my way in certain places. But all the, the main boss, I fought on video. And I fought a couple, a couple of side bosses, but there was a couple of dungeons I did. And I, the dungeons are kind of repetitive, so, so I didn't, I didn't want to show those. But there's a couple of dungeons I did, a couple of these I did, that uh, took me a little bit of time to get to. But I was, I would say this is probably like these videos are probably like an hour piece. That's 20 videos, so that's about 20 hours of gameplay, 20 and a half hours of gameplay. So it's, it's probably more than that. It's probably, yeah, they probably someone was like hour and 30 minutes, hour and 50 minutes and stuff too. So it was, a, it was roughly 30 hours. If I add my time offline, 35 hours, 36 hours of gameplay, so almost 40 hours of gameplay. So the DLC is definitely worth the price and definitely worth paying. I wish they would have added some more and stuff to it. And from what I've heard, there's only going to be one DLC. So that's my my take on on the DLC. And obviously, we spin it up. We see that Mikula just wanted Radon. And that, that boss we just fought was Radon's soul inside of Moog's body. And we remember from the, the base game, Mode kidnapped Mikula. But Mode only kidnapped Mikula because Mikula brainwashed Mode to kidnap Mikula so that they can go back to the shadow world, so they can steal Moog's body, so they can put Radon's soul into Moog's body. That's how this all even started. Everything started basically because of Mikula. Radon freaking messed up the world and, and had uh, uh, Milena fight him and stuff like that because of Mikula. So I wish they would have another DLC to do some other stuff in it, but this is the only DLC for this game. Now, with that, the next game we're probably going to play is Black Muff Wukong. That comes out next month. Pretty much. Exactly. Exactly angry. Mikula just wanted some ding-ding from Radon. Radon didn't want to give him no dingling, so he took the dingling. Because Mikula's, Mikula, Mikula's a god. And his ability, one of his abilities is he can do mind control, so he can control people's mind. So he basically controlled a bunch of people's mind to get what he wanted. Where Don was like, nah, I ain't going to fuck with you like that. And Mikula was like, yes, you are, whether you want to or not. Excuse me, I had to cough. But yeah, Mikula was basically like, whether you want to or not, you slanging that wood. So go ahead with it. And now we got here. Now we had to fight a bunch of people because of all of that. But I appreciate y'all tagging along. This has been great. I appreciate the, 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 the talking. These videos will be up on YouTube as well. You can click the link for the YouTube to, to, to get into that so you can watch whatever you, you didn't get to watch and whatnot. And I appreciate the likes on that, and the subscribes, and the comments and whatnot. So it's all there. Pretty much. He straight up, uh, straight up hit him with one of those angry. He said, either, either we or I'm, and that's it. He said, I, I like you and I want you. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. And straight up was like, I see you want to do this the hard way. He told him, man, he's a booty warrior. <laughs> but anyways, man, I appreciate it, y'all. That's it for this video, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.